Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are going to make a creamy tomatillo sauce, or you can call it a creamy salsa verde. Uh, my wife Patty absolutely loves verde sauces. She will always pick a verde sauce over any other sauce that's available to her, so I'm always making them for her in the kitchen. But today I'm gonna use a very simple technique that adds a creaminess to it that may not be what you expect. So uh, Patty really loves it this way, so let me show you how to make it. All right, I've got my ingredient station all set up here. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to roast our vegetables. So here I have uh, several cloves of garlic. My recipe calls for four to six cloves, but really you can use um, as much garlic as you'd like. Patty and I both love gorgeous garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these onto the roasting pan here. And I also have a red onion. Um, you can use a small red onion, medium size, really if you like red onion. So I'm gonna cut it into a couple chunks to make it a little easier for roasting. Just gonna set them onto your roasting pan here, like so. And I have some chilies here. So I have three jalapeno peppers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of slice them in half, like so, and set them onto the roasting pan. Really a baking sheet. And I also have some serrano peppers. Um, you can use all jalapeno if you'd like, but Patty really likes it hot. I mean, obviously. I know you're laughing, Patty. <laughs> Come on, man. And I also have about two pounds of tomatillos. And with tomatillos, you really just need to peel away the 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 husk here and just kind of discard those and we'll rinse these up. Some of them come without the husk. The husk just comes right off and just toss them. All right, I'm gonna finish up peeling my tomatillos. It's pretty easy. And I do wanna rinse these off. I'm gonna grab a colander here. Just do a quick rinse under the faucet. All right, got these rinsed them set back onto my cutting board here. And all you really need to do is slice these in half and just set them up, the skin sides up onto your baking sheets. Enough room on your pan. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna broil this for about 10 to 15 minutes or so until everything's nice and charred up and I can peel away the skins. All right, I've got my veggies all roasted up nicely. Look at that. So we're gonna let this cool for a little bit so that we can peel the peppers. And you can see the uh, pepper skins will start to peel right off. And if you need to, you can uh, basically put them into a bowl and cover them and they'll steam a little bit and loosen up the skins a little bit more that way. So, uh, but usually just comes right off here. Um, you can peel the tomatillos if you want to as well. These will just pop right off. Um, but I actually like the flavor of the charred skin, so a lot of times I'll leave the skins on and uh, you just to enhance the flavor of your verde sauce. And peel the garlic as well. It should squeeze right out of the skin really easily. Nice and softened up here. Get rid of those garlic skins. Roasted garlic is awesome, awesome, awesome. Quick tip about the roasted chili skins here. Um, there's still nutrients in there, and if you have a dehydrator, you can dehydrate these and then grind them into a powder for uh, to be used as a seasoning or parts of your dry rubs. Um, I talk about this a lot in my cookbook, the Spicy Dehydrator Cookbook, which uh, I hope you'll check it out. All right, everything's peeled up. So now we're gonna get our food processor ready. I'm gonna get this moved over so I can make room for my food processor. Got my food processor set up, and we'll get all of our roasted ingredients into the food processor. Just uh, try to avoid making a mess like I usually do. Ah, this is why I need an apron. All right, everything's in there. And we're also gonna add some cilantro. I have a, just kind of a small handful of cilantro. You can chop it up if you need to. And juice from one lime. Give me a juicy lime here. Patty likes it limey. And I have a quarter cup of white wine vinegar. And one half teaspoon of freshly ground cumin. Along with a bit of salt to taste. Always salt to your personal taste. 
All right, now we're gonna process this up, make our verde sauce here. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out, my friends. Yeah, look at that. Looks uh, delicious. So you already have a delicious uh, verde sauce right here, and you can totally use it. Oh, it smells amazing. But we're gonna go ahead and use a simple technique to make this nice and creamy. It's not like a secret technique, but uh, it's definitely something that you'll find in uh, a lot of sauces. I see it a lot in uh, Latin American cuisine, Mexican cuisine. Um, it's a lot like making a mayo, and that is oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some oil in here. I actually do this exact recipe with my creamy jalapeno sauce, which I think you would love. So we're gonna get this processor going, and then just drizzle it in. Do it slow, a nice slow drizzle, and we're using a neutral oil here. It's avocado oil. You can use peanut oil, veg vegetable oil. Got about a quarter cup of oil here. Yes, look at that. It just adds another creamy element to it and a lot of flavor. It's just so delicious this way. All right, I'm gonna get this uh, moved over to a bowl and we will give it a taste. So let's talk about serving. You can really serve this up with tortillas as just a simple salsa or a table sauce. Uh, spoon it over your tacos or your burritos. You can pretty much use it anywhere where you'd use a typical verde sauce, like making enchiladas or chilaquiles. So it's really versatile. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm. Yum. I do believe this will be patty approved. Hey, I hope you love this recipe as much as I do, and I'd love to hear what you uh, think in the comments below and how you're gonna serve yours. If you're looking for more interesting sauce recipes, you gotta try my creamy jalapeno sauce. It uses the same technique, very easy to make, and it's super delicious and very addictive. Or you can try my green spaghetti recipe. It actually uses a verde, spaghetti verde. It's absolutely delicious, and uh, that's one of Patty's favorites as well. So, all right, I hope to see you in the kitchen next time. Mike from Chili Pepper Madness, bye.